Yo, what's going on everybody? Nella here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. Oh, let me unmute the audio. I have an announcement to make, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm retiring from playing Claw. I just put in an, or, uh, an order for an Xbox Elite controller. And I can't play Claw anymore, man. I'm playing Claw in this video. I have to play Claw for a couple more days, but... After the few more days, I'm done, dude. This is this is how I like to hold my controller right now, but it's hurting my wrist beyond belief, man. It's been like two and a half years since I started clawing. Yeah, it's been like two and a half years of straight up clawing the entire time I'm playing a controller, and the damage has accumulated over time. Maybe it's just damage from playing, and maybe I, I'm going to get the Elite Controller. I'm muting it for now. Maybe I'm going to get the Elite Controller, and I'm going to feel the same exact damage and the same exact pain. I don't know. But I'm willing to spend 150 bucks to see if it will help my wrist than continuing to play how I've been playing and just damaging my wrist over time, bro. Because like my wrist right now is right down here, right down here. Just all up throughout here. It feels so fucking tight when I'm playing. I don't know how to describe it. It so just feels like this muscle is constantly just being flexed, dude. It just feels like it's constantly being flexed. It's, it hurts to grab shit now. Like after I play for a while. And even like the next day after a long play session. It hurts to grab things, dude. Like grabbing things. Wide things. Wrapping my hand around something hurts. I can't do it with my right hand. My left hand, I can do it. My right hand, it literally, like, I'll, like, drop it. It'll, like, slip out of my hands. Like, my hands, I'm, like, losing strength and control of my wrist, man. And maybe it's just from playing. Maybe it's not from clawing. But I, like, I before, before I used to claw, I used to play regularly. And I did not really have this much wrist issues, man. And it's getting to the point where it's like hard to play for long periods of time. Like it's getting really hard to play for long periods of time. It's getting really hard to play for long periods of time, man. It's like even right now, it just feels tight and tender. And the thing is, I didn't even play a lot yesterday. That's the thing. It's not like I'm playing too much, right? That's not the issue. It's not like I've been playing games more than I ever have before or some shit. Enemy soldier incoming. It's literally just like, it's just hurting so much more than it has like always done. Because obviously if you play for a while, yeah, you're going to feel some wrist pain. Yeah, obviously. But not like this, man. This is like next level, like, just unnecessary wrist pain that I should not be feeling. And I shouldn't be feeling it hours after I get off, man. But yeah, back to my wrist, bro. Sorry, my cat was just fucking clawing the living shit out of my arm for literally no reason. So I had to yell at him a little bit. You've got gas moving in. But back to my wrist. Um, it's just like, yeah, there's just a tender feeling. And it's when I'm doing actions with my pointer finger. That's how, I, like, I know it's from clawing. It's only, it's not like... Oh, now I'm just getting frustrated, bro. I'm getting so frustrated. It's not like I'm, like... Just my whole hand in general is hurting. It's only the parts that move when my pointer finger is moving. Yeah, I'm about to get off, bro. I'm about to call it a day. I'm about to call it a day, bro. I'm not even kidding. It's literally only the parts... Only parts that are hurting are the parts that move around when I'm pressing shit with my pointer finger. The tendon that moves around when you press shit with your pointer finger is the thing that's hurting me. Oh, you're fucking ass. Yeah, and then I can just, like, feel that, like, I still play good. But, dude, when my f when my hand starts to lock up and shit, I start playing, like, shit, man. It's just hard to move around. And when I say hard to move around, I don't mean, like, doing movement or anything. I just mean, like, every action in the game in general hurts to do. And, you know, it might also be, like, in my head I'm thinking about it more. So it's causing it, like causing me to pay attention to it more but even like right there like that that aiming it just hurts to do a slight little movement it hurts man and i'm trying to make this into my job brother so it's like I, i'm not gonna be able to do that when my shit is just hurting 24 7 bro 
But yeah, I finally put the order in for an Elite controller. I'm really hoping that that, like, helps it and fixes the issue. You know, it took a lot of debating. Because obviously it's a lot of money. And, like, controllers break pretty quick. You know what I mean? So it's like... It's a lot of money and like within three to six months I could have to be getting another one and dropping another fucking 200 bucks when it's not on sale. But if, if there's even a chance bro that I could, that it'll make me be able to play longer and it'll reduce the amount of pain I feel when I'm playing. Actually like when I press A bro that's when it hurts the most. I can just feel it in my wrist just like hurting and then there'll be times where it's like I'm moving weird. I'm not pressing buttons like when I'm trying to press them. Like I have a delayed reaction to pressing buttons. And then I go like this and my wrist just pops when I go like that. Like a loud ass pop. So it's like, yeah, it's like, obviously it's not good money wise. You know what I mean? But in terms of actually like longevity and being able to play and not like having to get fucking wrist surgery at a young age and shit. It's definitely worth it to me. If there's a chance that I won't get wrist surgery at such a young age, and I'll be able to play uh, well into my 30s, then I'm fucking taking that chance, bro. I, I want to play into my 30s. And I know it's going to take like some time to relearn everything, get my muscle memory down again. Because I used to play with paddles before. I switched to Claw uh, in Vanguard. But I used to play with paddles before, so it's like, I have the muscle memory for paddles. I just switched to claw, because so, it was cheaper. My Elite Controller broke so quick, and I went to buy another Elite Controller, and it came fucking broken. So I was like, fuck this, I'm just going to learn claw. But now it's to the point where it's like, bro, I'm not going to be able to keep playing for very much longer if I don't switch something up. This pain doesn't stop. Like, I'm not going to be able to keep playing much longer. Because, like, I can power through it. But then my wrist is just done. It's, like, actually done for a, the rest of the day. And then even when I fall asleep and wake up, it feels better. But then right when I start playing, it just starts hurting again. It's like a never-ending cycle. It's just fucking wrist pain, bro. And I'm so sick and tired of it. Like, straight up. So does this suck that I gotta like relearn paddles, especially right when rain comes out, because it comes on Friday? So does that like suck that like I'm not gonna be able to play ranked right away, like at the top level and shit? Yeah, of course, but I'll be thanking my wrist will be literally thanking me, and when I'm older and can still play good, my I will be thanking myself that I made that decision. What's worth more, bro? 150 bucks, or let's just say 200 bucks. If it wasn't on sale, 200 bucks for fucking constant wrist pain and, and the inability to play. Because I've been thinking about this for weeks. Because it's like, yeah, I don't want to spend that money. Like, yeah, I, I'd rather have that money in my account for bills and food and all that shit. But I can't do it anymore, bro. Especially when I'm trying to make this into my job. Like, I, I can't do it. My wrist hurts too much, man. It's just too much every single day. My wrist just fucking hurts. You gotta spend money to eat some better foods. You gotta fucking do this, do that. You gotta spend money to live longer. And to be healthy longer. And I want my wrist to stay healthy, man. I want to be a professional video game player. I want to be a pro player. That's unfortunate that I got beamed like that. Bad timing. I should have stayed up there a bit longer. But yeah, nevertheless, bro, like, I want to be a professional player. That's what I want to do. Either a professional player, a professional YouTuber, something that involves gaming. And if I'm in constant pain from playing games, I'm not going to be able to do my fucking job. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. I got to do what I got to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend some money, man. It is what it is. And I really hope that it helps. I really hope. I think it's going to help. I think this constant pain in my wrist will stop because it's right here. I can literally feel the tendon moving. There's a tendon right here that moves. It's right here. You might be able to see it moving. So that's constantly happening and it's causing constant fucking pain and stress on my wrist, man. I'm getting paddles. I'm spending some cash and I'm going to hope that it helps my wrist, man. But besides that, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.